What is up guys, welcome back to another subscriber replay. Today we have Val Hero in the Object 140. Now you remember, remember Val from the uh, TVP third mark session finish video that I have. That's all his gameplay. He's a very, very good player. So I'm really looking forward to this. I know that this the after battle stats were really, really good. So it should be an excellent battle. Um, also, uh, in regards to other replays, I do have a lot. Uh, if I made a replay review every day for the next three months, I would not run out of replays. So you guys really did send me a lot, um, much more than I anticipated when I opened the replays up to other types of battles, such as really good ones like this one. So yeah, um, if I don't get to your replay, you know, I'm really sorry. Just, you know, if you get more good battles, just keep sending them in and hopefully I'll be able to uh, pick yours. But um, ultimately I have to skip over quite a lot. So yeah, I apologize for that guys. But um, the other problem I, I'm going to have is I'm not sure if I'm going to have a 9.18 client available since 9.19 is coming so quickly that yeah, I don't have, I mean, I need to update both my EU and NA clients and I think they were the only two I have on 9.18. So I can't just quickly use like another spare one. So I'll just figure out how I'm going to do that. I may have to copy my NA client. My EU client is already on 9.19. So maybe I'll just go do that after this. Regardless, let's get back into the battle. So Overlord on as an object 140 isn't a bad map. You can do a lot of flexing around and the hills are sort of uh, shaped in a way that they aren't too steep so you don't need like 10 degrees of gun depression to actually be effective on a lot of these little slopes some of them you certainly do but not all of them there's a lot of places you can engineer your own gun depression and keep yourself pretty safe obviously low profile of a 140 is really nice um, turret armor isn't like amazing unfortunately but it still will do enough so first kill going out there for Val uh, first kill of the game actually so, uh, yeah, he's, he's going to be pretty pretty okay with the start of this battle. There hasn't been a lot of farm, but he hasn't taken any damage to get the, the two shots worth of damage he has gotten, and he has a kill. So, yeah, it's been an okay battle so far. He, he's chosen to run rations on his 140. It's a brave decision because it does get set on fire quite a lot. Um, I go back and forth between the two, but every time I get set on fire twice in a row I just remember why I don't run rations but if you do run rations it do certainly does help improve the tank now his team has lost two back-to-back -back kills which isn't exactly ideal um, some of the enemies are lit on the beach though so that does give his team a little bit of time to control the high ground of the map he's trying to get shots into this FV but unfortunately not able to do so he got lit there um, I don't actually know if it was the FV that lit him but uh, it might have been yeah, it might have been that guy right there, but uh, regardless, Val is going to move back over here and look for some shots. Um, the enemies do quite, have quite a lot of tanks over on the 3-4 area, so he does need to be careful. Nice road wheel track shot there, preventing the defender from getting a shot into him. That is crazy. I think part of this is going to be, uh, he has quite a lot of ping. He has actually similar ping than I get to the NA server. Um, the Asia server is quite bad for Australians. Australians... Uh, can't really catch a break when it comes to any kind of game. You are always playing on someone else's server most of the time. Um, not sure where the Asia server is located. It might be Singapore, but I'm not sure exactly. But regardless, he does have relatively high ping, so you'll probably see like some shots that he's let fly and it looks like it's never going to hit. So we'll just have to see, because that's what I get on the NA servers. Um, but believe me, you'd always rather have a, the lower ping... It's, it's an extra challenge, actually, to hit shots with higher ping. Um, you can't be as quick to react to things because the delay between you and the server. So it is a bit of a problem. But stock IS-3 there, easy, easy farm. Or is it a IS-3A? I actually can't see because the little window I'm looking at is really small. Um, for some reason, if I display the, the game in a larger picture on my Sony Vegas, it crashes. So I have to have it in a small window so I can't see the little details. So I do apologize for that, but that was a nice shot, actually. Um, so, so far, his team has sort of done almost nothing. Val is sort of flexed around, which is one of the nice things about playing a medium tank, is you can just flex around the map as you're needed. Gonna get up. Ooh, yeah, just about. Um, so, yeah, this is, this is not going so well for his team. They're sort of melting really, really quickly. So, um, yeah, not exactly ideal. His team is... 
is beginning to disintegrate rather quickly. Val is trying to get his gun in the game and, and get as much damage out as he can, but it's just like when your teammates are starting to die around you, your options in terms of where you can actually go are really severely limited. Wow, he is now alone against nine tanks. So he should kill that, so that limits it to one versus eight. But um, yeah, so <laughs> an almost gargantuan task. Um, his only hope at this point is to kite the opponents around. You never want to stay in the same position, and the 140 does have enough speed that you can move around the map relatively smoothly um, and pick shots off. So unfortunately, another low HP tank, he can pick that off. So at this point, it's, it's about getting around and making sure you don't get narrowed into a corner. You want to flex around as much as possible. He's going to repair that stun and track from that auto-loading batshit already. The last thing you want to do is have that thing beating down on you. He's going to look, see if he can get a spot on the cap, but nothing. He might have to go over to the zero line. Yeah. Um, ooh, should be able to get the kill there. Yep. All right, narrowing down the odds a little bit. Still <laughs> rather gargantuan task, really, but um, he's got to have to try and get over to... Reset the cap at some point. Um, put some damage into this. Well, probable 183 that's on the cap, I would imagine. Yeah, 183. Um, should be able to get the reset there. Yep. Uh, keep the holes of the dead tanks behind him. Yep. Very nicely done there. Very nice indeed. So, avoids the already shot as well, which is nice because he wouldn't have been able to heal that stun if it had stunned him again. So... He's going to try and look for the 183 again, but at this point he's probably going to have to worry about other tanks coming close to him as well. Um, yeah, there you go. So uh, the defender is back. Does not want to take an alpha hit from one of those things. 440 alpha. He's decided better of that. Um, should be able to get the scorpion. Yep, nice shot into the scorpion there. Uh, Defender doesn't have any gun impressions, so he can track him in the road wheel if he tries to come over. Is Scorpion going to climb again? Yeah, blind shot, sure. Easy. Very nicely done by Val there. Um, should be able to get the track. Ooh, not, well, there's another lower plate shot on the Defender. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, at this point, like, it, it's... If the 183 can insists on sitting on the cap, um, it could be difficult if he can't find a reset that's safe. Uh, another nice shot into the defender there. You can see these these hills, what I mean about, you know, they gave you just enough uh, of a slant that you can be protected and also use your gun depression without having, like, obscene amounts. That unfortunate bounce there. Uh, the mouse is coming over as well. He needs to do something about this cap, though. The timer's getting really low. Ugh. At least he had his med kit available for that. Should be able to get the kill here. Yep, very nice. Um... Well, he went to a, it went to go out, I think, to go get a reset, and then I think the 183 drove off the cap, so he's like, oh, okay, so he's driving back into cover now. And this may be the biggest mistake this 183 makes. Um, you either decide and dedicate yourself to the cap, or you actually go for the kill. You don't sort of commit to the cap and then at a really high point in the cap decide, nah, I'm not going to cap after all. That's kind of madness, to be honest with you. Um... But really, really good management so far by Val, uh, all things considered. Like a 1 versus 9, basically, is how this started out. I mean, obviously, there was a fortunate that there was a lot of um, one-hittable tanks. Were they not one-hittable, that could be a different story. But fortunately, his allies had at least done some damage. They just hadn't finished off a lot of these tanks. Um, it's a spot on the 183 there. The has to be careful of the 183, but if he can get shots on the 183 when he's not lit, that's exactly what he wants. Uh, that did get him lit, though, probably by the Tiger 2. Tiger 2 should get a kill. Oh, really, really, really unlucky there. I hate when that happens. Um, but either way, he's, he's doing okay so far. There's no cap pressure. The Tiger 2, I think he should be able to easily kill him without any kind of retaliation from the 183, so he should be able to get that killed. The problem is... He wants to make sure he doesn't get wrecked by the, the bad already. It is worth noting that the bad already only has three shots now, not four. So that is all three, I think. I believe that was three shots from the bad already. So he should be okay now uh, to figure out a way to kill the Tiger 2. Um, the fact that there's no cap pressure probably indicates the 183 is heading towards him. So he'll know that and he needs to get uh, a little bit of distance between himself and the 183. You can, cannot chase him down. 
So, should be able to get this kill here, actually. Ooh, no, Tiger 2 backed up in time. He needed to be on the uh, the hill in front of him, I think, there. But um, he should still be able to get the kill, I think, if he goes over to his right here. Um, yeah. Yeah, he'll be able to get the kill here. So, that sh that'll deal with the Tiger 2. He wasn't much of a threat, but he was spotting him, so that's a bit of a problem. See if he can get a hatch shot. Oh, no, unlucky. Uh, you might want to... Yeah, he's, I think he's just going to kite the 1-8-3 at this point. Um, it's always a good thing to do uh, when you're when you're playing in this kind of situation is to reset your position and, and approach it from a different angle. You know, uh, if he continues to fight from the same angle every single time, the, it's very predictable and the 1 3 can pre-aim shots, but if you come up from a different angle, then, you know, you can actually confuse the enemy and, and not get any damage or anything back to you. Um, he has got 10 kills so far, and if he gets the remaining two, it will be 12 kills. Um, so he's done an excellent job in managing uh, his positioning and dealing with these opponents. I mean, obviously, in any kind of carry, there's an element of luck in the sense that his allies had done enough damage to a lot of these things that he could one-hit them. But it's still a situation where, you know, there were so many different tanks that even though they were all basically, one, well, not all of them, but a lot of them were one-shottable, um, he could have very easily been surrounded and killed by poor positioning and things like that. So he's done an absolutely excellent job um, by managing that. Now he's going to look for the artillery piece, which is probably the right play because the, the arty is just going to continually batter and beat him. And, and the 183 is still quite healthy, so he needs to put quite a lot of shots into the 183. And it's unlikely he'll be able to get into a perma unlit position to kill the 183 uh, without being lit in return. And the last thing he wants to do while trying to play around on hills against a 183 is have an artillery beating down on him. Uh, especially as it might track him, which is probably more deadly to him at this point than a stun is an actual track to his tank. So he has to be very, very cautious. But he can't seem to find this bad already. He may have run up the other side towards way up the 1-2 line, or maybe he's in the middle somewhere? I don't know, that doesn't really make sense. He must be up the 1-2 line. Um, but he's getting some nice back shots in this 183. He should be able to get one more as the 18 Oh, 140. <sighs> Unlucky. So I've been finding playing the 140 recently uh, is the gun. I don't know. It just doesn't feel as reliable as the 62A, but it's probably placebo. Um, I know there are like slightly better stats on the 62A, but it's still it's it's almost like a it's hard to say significant difference, but it does feel a little bit like that uh, compared to the 62A, but um, I'm sure it's more placebo than anything else. Regardless, the cap being started indicates to him exactly where this bat shot already is. Not sure why the bat already thinks he can successfully cap against a medium when all he has is an ally as a tank destroyer, but only the artillery will know the answer to that. So he should be able to figure out where this 183 is soon. He can't have gotten that far. Um, he does have time to do this, so, you know, he has a little bit of time to work with. Um, if he rises on the ridge here, you might see the 183. Yeah, okay, so the 183 was just chilling in the middle there. He expected uh, Val to come through the middle, but he didn't. Let's see if he can bait a shot. Oh, that should be GG at this point. Um, should be able to kill the 183. One more shot. Assuming the one or the 140 accuracy doesn't curse him. Yep, easy. All right, now he can take his time and deal with this bash already. Oh wow, he's going aggro. I suppose at this point it's unlikely the bash already would ever be able to do enough damage to him to actually kill him in one hit. And also, yeah, um, that was never going to happen, I guess. So he didn't really have actually that much to be worried about with the new artillery alpha nerfs so yeah that was an excellent battle uh by val and i'm sure during that battle he was probably his heart was racing palms sweaty knees weak but uh he handled it really 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 well so that was a pretty awesome battle and so honestly a lot of you guys asked me like you know what keeps you playing world of tanks and honestly it's for battles like those those really clutch battles so that was really awesome thanks for submitting your replay val it was really really fun to watch um, a real master at work. So I hope you guys enjoyed the replay. Don't forget if you want to send me a replay review um, At this point it's probably better to send me 9.19 replays um, But all the links will be in the description for that stuff Just make sure that when you email me you put it in what replays a lot of you sent me email with file attachments 
please, please send me what replays and things like that. Um, and be specific in the title about what your replay is all about. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I will catch you guys on the next video.